Well, good morning. Guess what? We're at the movie theater. I managed to wake up in time. <laughs> We're gonna go see The Fault in Our Stars. Better be good. Morning. So we're back from the movies. We watched a movie. We watched Fault in Our Stars. Your eyes still a little red? No, you're good now. <laughs> Did you cry a little bit? Yeah. Yeah. I reached a certain point in the movie, and then I just, because I knew everything that was going on, it's just... Yeah. Oh, man. It just became constant. It's... It was good though. I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed it as well. There, there were a couple of people in the theater that were really crying. Like, the fact that we could hear, like, like, yeah. <laughs> and you're like, oh. I, I didn't cry. Like, tears did not come down my face, but they were, they were in there. They were welling. My, uh, my eyeballs were floating. Tears. Yeah, at a couple points. Um, like two specific points, um, but yeah, really, really good movie. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it as well. Mm -hmm. If I could critique it, my least favorite thing about this movie would be um, Isaac's character. There's a lack of him, and it seems like a not full portrayal of how I viewed the character, so... Yeah. He was my favorite character in the book, and I was really looking forward to seeing him on screen and seeing him go through what he's going through as well. Yeah. But yeah. Definitely uh, under. He is a secondary character, so I understand. But I just think he's a very great character. Yeah. I. That's what I think as well, is that... Isaac's character was very, just kind of, yeah, not focused on. Like, they they put forth a lot of effort to make, you know, Hazel and Augustus, like, really uh, multi-dimensional characters, but then when it came to Isaac, it was very much, like, a side note, and he he almost came across as, like, the comedic relief okay. in the of, of it, and it just, it, it just felt, mm, Lazy, almost. Just, just a little poor, poorly done. Cause yeah, he's a, he is a really good character, and he has really important moments in his life um, that happen, and it was almost pawned off as not so serious. Mm -hmm. So just because he wasn't the main character, um, yeah. If I'm gonna critique stuff, I would say that some of the um, some of the dialogue felt at at sometimes a little forced. Uh, and apart from that, no, it was pretty good. Like, the score is really good, and, and overall it was well acted, apart from, yeah, like I said, sometimes the, the, the dialogue felt like you could feel the script, and maybe that just comes from reading the book and, like, really recognizing, like, okay, that's, like, a direct word-for-word -word quote thing, and it, especially when it was stuff like that, you're just kind of, like, you felt that it was... You know, you you could just, see you could see like oh yeah, this was a book and now it's a movie and they're reading the script and this is what they did and blah 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 instead of like really just kind of feeling it in the moment. Yeah. Um. And yeah, other other than that, no, it was it was pretty well done. Um. Really, one of my favorite scenes, mildly spoilery, if you haven't seen the movie and if you haven't read the book, and, and to be completely honest, I don't even remember, if it's probably in the book, is it um, the Anne Frank house yeah, that's in the, the book? book. I, it's been so long since I read the book, and I don't, I don't remember books <laughs> like you do. You can pull out the randomest of details. Um, but yeah, the, the, uh, the part where they visit the Anne Frank house is just, that part in the movie it was so well done. Really well acted. Um, Scripting was awesome, and the score was just spot on. Mm -hmm. It was very, uh, very well directed and uh, shot. Um, scene, I, it was oh crazy. Good. I really, really liked the way they did the 
the text messaging and any text that they were reading. Yeah. Uh, that was, that was like, because you never know how to do that in like it's, yeah. movies and shows and stuff. Mm -hmm. Really, really good. Yeah. It's, it's kind of like, um. Sherlock. Like, yeah, I was going to say, I'm like, it's like how they do it in Sherlock. Which yeah. is, which is how you need to do it. Mm -hmm. you, you can't go zoom in on the phone or you can't have somebody read it or. Yeah. It can be tough to sometimes to, do, to like have people. Cause no, cause no, no, nobody like really looks at their phone and reads it out loud what their texts are and then reads, says out loud as they're texting their response, yeah, it's which just, is it's... what people do in a lot of movies and shows and stuff. It's just like the, the way that they did it in this movie was, yeah, it was good. It's like, it's maybe not like, <laughs> it's not like the best way of doing it, but it's, pro it's probably the best we can think of right now of how to do it. Yeah. Yeah. I really liked it. Yeah. It was good. It was cool. Yeah, it yeah. was a very, very good movie. Twas. Twas. Good, good book. Good movie. Good, good. Good cry. Well, <laughs> good cry. Good cry. Good well up for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had, a, I had a pocket full of uh, cough drops because I just woke up this morning coughing and I'm like, oh no, I'm going to be the most annoying person in the movie theater. But you weren't. So but I wasn't. Yeah, there was an, enough other annoying people. Yeah, I didn't really cough. I coughed like twice, kind of near the end, because I had been constantly taking cough drops throughout the whole movie. That like kind of near the end, I was like, I'm breathing funny. <laughs> I should probably not be, you know, downing these cough drops like candy. Yeah. Oh man, the one lady that was sitting like a couple seats over from Lydia was checking her like her bank, like she was calling her bank like the automatic bank service during a pretty important part of the movie. It's like during, like near the end. Yeah. And I was like, if I, if, if I didn't have to reach over Lydia, like, like lean around Lydia to like yell at her, I think I would have, but I didn't want to disrupt Lydia who maybe didn't notice. So I was like, Oh lady, <laughs> like, like really, really you gotta, you, you need to check your bank account right now. right now you can't wait like it's probably like 15 minutes left in the movie uh but yeah <laughs> other than that as well good movie i'm glad we went and saw it yeah it was wonderful i loved it very much <laughs> you okay okay <laughs> spin-off sequel isaac's story yeah. So after watching Tiffyos today, we kind of didn't do much of anything. <laughs> um, we just played a bunch of Lydia's video game that we're doing. We're, we're playing Lost Odyssey. We made it onto the third disc out of four. So that's pretty much that all we've been doing. Yeah, that's all we've been doing this entire afternoon for the last forever. Oh man. It's a really fun game though, really really fun game. And then we watched like a two hour special of um, Eddie Izzard stand up comedy stuff. And man, I, I've never really, uh, well I, I don't think I've ever listened to Eddie Izzard before. Uh, Lydia apparently has. <laughs> cause she was, she, there was a couple times where she was laughing like before the joke cause she like remembered it. Um, but yeah, no, it was really, it was really funny. I liked it. But I just kind of been sitting here playing video games all day, uh, and now I'm kind of a little sleepy. But yeah, Fault in Our Stars. I enjoyed it. Um, I did remember one more problem that I had with the movie. Um, but it's super spoilery, so maybe I won't say it. Okay, I, I will say it. I'll say it. But I'm just saying, if you you care about spoilers for The Fault in Our Stars book slash movie, just, like, don't watch the rest of this video. It, there's probably, like, a minute left in the video. Just don't watch the rest of the video, okay? There? You good? Okay. <laughs> so here's the problem that I had. Uh, one of the other problems that I had. Um, I didn't like how they didn't have a lot of um, showing Augustus 
sick. Um, because I feel like that was probably, in my opinion, one of the most important parts of the book. And it was almost non-existent in the movie. Like, it was there, but not as much as I would have liked it to be. But, who knows, other people might put emphasis on different parts. So, it's understandable, just in my opinion. Uh, I think that's where a lot of the focus should have been. Not a lot of the focus, just more focus. Because that's something that was really powerful to me. Um, and what made the book stand out as being so good, in my opinion. So yeah, um, overall, great book. Pretty decent movie. <sighs> And time to sleep. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Good night. Lens, you are so dirty. Ugh. Guess that's what happens when you carry a camera around in your pocket all day, every day. Ugh.